All right, everybody. So, uh, going to talk uh, today a little bit about uh, Ukraine Gate again because it just won't go away. Uh, everything's come out on it, and it has just flopped harder than Russia Gate ever could have. Uh, and people are still talking about it. I was talking to somebody earlier today, and uh, and they brought up Ukraine. Uh, for a reason why I shouldn't, uh, I shouldn't support Trump, right? And uh, they brought it up, and they started rattling all this stuff off that uh, that never happened. In it. So I asked them. I said, "Did you read the report on this?" And they told me no, but I've watched the news, and it it, it was just it was so bad. It was uh, they were talking about Trump told Ukraine that they wouldn't get uh, they wouldn't get these weapons unless they investigated Biden but he would give them weapons if they went ahead and did the investigation and the whole bunch of quid pro quo and just extremely misinformed everywhere uh, there there was nothing like that it was a 30 minute phone call uh, Biden was mentioned one time uh, Giuliani was brought up by Ukraine the whistleblower complaint was was not suppressed. It just wasn't an actual whistleblower complaint. The guy put together a list of rumors and news snippets and submitted it as a complaint. And they said, hey, sorry, what do you expect us to do? We can't use any of this. This isn't a legitimate complaint. These are rumors. And the media went off and started talking about all of this just nonsense some of it was just absolutely straight up false uh what was the msnbc completely making up quotes that the president never said uh the, it, it was nothing and it's turned into this huge thing and, and the democrats are like flinging themselves on on their own swords over this story like they are committed that this is this is the hill that they want to die on. Uh, they're not letting this one go, and it's great. But what blows my mind is up until this point, me and this guy were having a very good conversation, right? He, We were diametrically opposed, uh, but we were still able to have a good conversation. But once it got to this point, and, and it was, it, it's this weird effect, man. Like, I know that the Trump derangement syndrome thing is a joke you know everybody laughs about it but god it's got to be true because i'm telling you i've been talking to this dude like all day and we were talking about policy positions and uh climate change and just having a really good conversation even though we agreed on almost nothing except the premises or are the ways to go about policy was completely completely different we were having a great conversation until it got brought up to trump the guy didn't even know i was a trump supporter at first um and so he asked me do you support trump eventually because uh talking a little bit about economics and the climate change deal i told him well you know it depends on what you mean by that and will i back him no matter what he does no but does he have my vote in 2020 right now yes he does unless he you know totally screws that off and uh, as soon as i said that the whole the whole conversation changed it it, it it became him trying to convince me not to vote for trump and he just started throwing out nonsense unproven nonsense that's been proliferated through the legacy media um and it just it 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 kind of, I, I was kind of taken aback at first you know what i mean like uh like I, I didn't expect that to, to happen in this conversation. So, uh, yeah, no, the rest of it, all the way up till the very end, was just, I'm, I'm telling you, it was just orange man bad. Just screaming it over and over again. And I, I'm systematically going through and, and telling him why everything he's, he's saying just isn't, isn't, uh, isn't true. And 
it was like gip galloping if you don't know what that is it's where you bring up so many points that it's very hard to address every point and so i would go through all of the uh um all the points they'd bring up and then they'd be like oh well why didn't you answer this question i don't know man because i just got done answering and running through an actual well thought uh response to the other nine points you brought up you know um why, why aren't you responding to my answers on those points? Uh, because you've just decided orange man bad and that, that's as far as it'll go for you. That, that's basically it. So, uh, so yeah, no, uh, Ukraine gate is completely absurdly, uh, false and, uh, Trump derangement syndrome is a thing. Somebody, uh, medical student somewhere needs to get that in the books. So, uh, anyways, just wanted to get that off my chest. So, till next time, y'all take it easy.